the Zuma Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm in Clapham today at the 12 Rounds Gym with me is Adam Barker. How you doing, Adam? Yeah, good, thank you. And yeah. yourself? Good, thanks. It's been a while. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's start with uh, the summer. You boxed O'Shane Clark. Mm. She didn't go your way. Nope. Um, before we talk about the fight, let's talk about what happened in the weigh-in. A lot of people have been saying you didn't look great at the weigh-in, no. <laughs> but it's a bit kindly. No, no, no. no. Um, when that first that first that fight first came up, um, I tried to get it a weight above, um, but it weren't happening. But it was a fight that I really really wanted, um, so I try, I kind of talked myself and, and Adam into the into the fact that I could make the weight, and I made the weight, but I didn't do it the right way. Um, the week of the fight, I was having like porridge in the morning. And then a bit of fruit in the afternoon after another session, after my morning session. And then like a little bit more fruit and, and literally just a little bit of liquid. Do you know what I mean? I'd, I'd really drive myself out for that fight. I, I didn't do it in the right way. Um, and obviously it, it paid, do you know what I mean? Like I, I was, I, I lost the fight, um, I lost it convincingly. Like there's no there's no taking away from O'Shane. He's a very, very good slippery fighter, do you know what I mean? Um, but. It's one of the things. It was a weight that I should never have. I should never try to make. Um, obviously, I paid for it and I learnt from it. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, but I, 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 I'm glad that happened um, because I had my break afterwards. I'll get into a minute why I had my break, um, but it opened my eyes a little bit and, and made me realise a few things. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. It is what it is. When you woke up the next morning, how did you feel? Gutted. Um, absolutely gutted. Uh, I, I turned like my kids. My kids were asleep by the time I got out of the ring, um, and then I woke up the next morning. And I've, I've, I've got one eye closed and one eye blackened. Um, I didn't want my kids seeing me like it, so mm. I stuck my um, sunglasses. I got in the shower, got ready before they got up, stuck my sunglasses on, and took them out for something to eat. And then also when I got back later on in the afternoon, um, I finally showed them my eyes and that they didn't like it. But um, I could, obviously I couldn't hide from them forever. Um, but that was the hardest thing was my kids seeing me like it, do you know what I mean? And mm. they're not they obviously they don't want to see their daddy like in bad shape, so it was a bit hard to give like to show them that, do you know what I mean? How long did you have off after that fight? Um well literally today is my first session back. Um oh, okay. I haven't I I have not been in the gym since that fight. I needed time out. Um I was I was struggling for a long time um in my head. Um, and with a few things, and I ignored it for ages. And then after that fight, um, I started struggling again. So I went to the doctors, and I'm fine. And I, I should have done. I, I got told a long time ago I should have focused on someone. I went to the doctors, um, and I got diagnosed with um, depression. Okay. And uh, which I'm, I'm not ashamed to say it. Do you know what I mean? A lot of people will hide it. Um, and try and ignore it like I did, and, I, and it was the worst thing I ever did. Because since since I, I admitted it to myself, I admitted it to the doctors and to my family, everything like that, everything's better. Um, the best thing that anyone in that situation can do is talk to someone and and, and tell them how they're feeling and, and look for the right guidance and help. Because all it did when I left it for ages was eat me up inside and then made me suffer, made my family suffer. Um, so yeah, I, I went to the doctors, um, diagnosed me with that. Uh, certain medications and certain counselling and whatever has, has brought me on a hell of a long way, as long as as well as my family, like my my partner Shannon and my kids uh, and my parents and her parents, etc. Et you know what I mean? Everyone around me has really supported me and uh, and pushed me to get back to where I am now. And walking back in the gym today, getting back to work, I've had a long break off and and I feel it's time to get back to doing what I am with that. You know what I mean? And mm. not wasting my talent. I'm good at it, just at the right weight, so yeah. um, see what opportunities arise when I'm back to where I should be, do you know what I mean? And you said you were jumping up two weights, to middle uh, weight? Yeah, yeah, I'm, listen, I, I'd really, really struggled to make uh, Well, well I, sir. I, yeah. I killed myself to make it, absolutely killed myself, and I did all the wrong things to do it. Um, the whole eight weeks leading up to that fight, leading up to the last week in camp, I didn't put a foot wrong, but my body just weren't doing it, my weight weren't shifting. Um, a natural way or the right way, so um, I killed myself to do it in the end. And it was that last week that I realised that it wasn't my weight, um, but I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna let everyone, everyone down that was coming to support me. I weren't gonna let O'Shane Clark down because he, he put a hell of a, hell of a shift in for his camp himself. Do you know what I mean? I wasn't gonna pull out. So I know what that feels like. It's, it's not 
good and I've got more respect for him than that. Um, and I, I, I didn't want to let anyone down, so I, I carried on with the fight, but um, I realised it's nowhere near my weight. Um, so I've got back in the gym. Um, I'm going to put on a bit of size, a bit of muscle, make myself a bit stronger, and I'm not going to bother with right middle because it's not that far ahead, do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to go out to middle um, where I'll be strong, where I'll be comfortable and fit, and where I'll make the weight easy, where I can, for the whole way through a camp, I can concentrate on learning and making myself a better fighter instead of jumping on the scales every five minutes to see where I'm at and how much water I'm going to lose and everything like that. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's no way to, 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 pro to progress in my career. So I want to do it the right way now and how my family are actually with me doing it and my training and everyone like that. So I'm going to do it the right way now. Well, listen, Adam, I appreciate you opening up to me. Um, see you moving up weight and uh, moving on to better things hopefully in 20, yeah. 2019. But yeah, as I said, I appreciate you opening up to me and uh, thanks all to our Thank you so much. Top man. Thank you.